What's up, Stripe Nation? Blake Alberts here with BB Lawn Care. Here's my good buddy Jeremy, and I got this detach dethatcher about a year ago. Jeremy's been trying it out. He's had some yards that needed dethatching, and here we're uh, here in Woodneath. And this yard, I mean, what what was the problem here, Jeremy? There's just a lot of thatch brown spots underneath. They yeah, were trying to pull up. I think that they had moved into a little bit of a burned up yard and, and they're just trying to make it better just to fit the area. So so basically, you mowed the yard. We're going to dethatch the yard. You're going to suck it up. You got you just got this brand new. Yes. I used this last year. I see you already got yeah. You Hard broke part. it in, man. <laughs> but um, this is the Skag bagging system for the V-Rides. And I know you had a little bit of issues with install, yeah. but once it got installed, you're you're liking it right yeah, it's awesome yep and well, i we used, got it installed i used it uh last year on leaves and it was incredible so hoping it goes really good today this will be a great test for not only the dethatcher but the bagger as well and then are you going to aerate and seed after that we'll be aerating and seeding after this yeah okay so this is like a full project here we're dethatching it we're aerating it seeding it and man hopefully getting this thing back into shape i would like to hope so i mean they got to they got a lot to compete with here. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, prime real estate, so we gotta get it looking good. You gotta beat the neighbors, man. Come That's on, it. you gotta get That's it greater it. than the neighbors. Yeah. So, all right, Jeremy, I'm gonna let you do this thing and I'll try to get some shots of it. So there's like a little knob that you can turn right when you flip that up, and I think he lowered it, and it really, really helped. I mean, look how much grass that he's pulling up here. I mean, there's a ton. All right, so Jeremy and I were just kind of talking over here. Let's talk about, A, what's the reason for this? Look, this is all over the yard right now. If he would have came and aerated and seeded, this right now, you would have thrown a bunch of seed on top of this, and it would have done nothing. It would have, A, you're not gonna get the results, which means the customer's not gonna be happy. You're not, you know, Jeremy wants to mow this yard all year next year, and he wants it green and beautiful, and then he can take pictures of it, and then somebody else will see it, and that's the line of business. Like, that's how you keep on growing and growing. So, you know, we don't wanna just come here, aerate seed, and leave and act like we did a great job when all you did was throw seed all over this. I mean, this is impressive, dude. Like, just talking about the, the de-thatcher itself, that's pretty cool. You went over it twice, it's taking about 15 minutes to go over. Now with the bagging system, I mean, it, it's pretty quick. I mean, this is a, a half hour job if we weren't filming it and, and doing all of our stuff. But also, I, I think these are how much do these run? We should probably, I'm gonna figure out how much these dethatchers run, but you just paid what, 2,500 for the? 2,500. 25, this is a setup, but it's just like every other service. You know, um, this is gonna make a difference on this lawn. I mean, we can tell, this, there's just brown all over this yard right now. He's gonna suck this up, then you're gonna aerate, then you're gonna seed, and I think they're gonna see a lot, a lot of result, because yeah, all of this thatch would just, a, the seed wouldn't get into the ground, it wouldn't grow, and it's also just like suffocating that seed, you know? So, 
Uh, that's that's why you would detach. I would say with aerating, overseeding, and detaching this yard, I could you could charge anywhere from four to five hundred dollars um, for all of those services. Then you would have a dump fee, your time, and the cost of seed. So um, let's. I want to see you suck up all of this. I want to see what the result is going to be just until you start aerating, and then I want to go over this dethatcher and just this whole setup. So <clears throat> Detach, the company, they make a bunch of different attachments. A lot of you have probably seen the leaf plows that they make, which is what I really, really want. Um, but basically, once you have this hitch system, then you can get a dethatcher, you can get the plow and whatever other attachments that they make. I'm actually really surprised with the the dethatcher. It just seems so simple. Um, like it was super easy to install. It's super easy to get on and off. And the whole unit just seems very simple. So uh, I'm actually really happy with the way that it operated. And then of course you guys know I used the Skag bagging system last fall. And that thing's an absolute beast. Dude, this is crazy. You've dumped this, what? This is your fourth time dumping yeah. this? Yep. That's a lot of stuff in the yard, dude. Yep. Just the backyard yep. only. Like, thing definitely works. Oh my goodness. That's insane, dude. Aren't, are you kind of surprised? No, I'm elated because now seed's gonna get down there and I don't look like an idiot. I don't even know what that means, but. It sounds cool. You sound intelligent. <laughs> yeah, look at all that. <laughs> And then the cool thing is, he has a dump trailer. So all you have to do is uh, go to the dump, click a button, right? Yes. That's pretty sweet. This is brand new dump trailer, isn't it? Yes. How much was it? Uh, 7,800. Oh my gosh. But it's a dump trailer, man. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, you gotta play with the dump trailer. If you don't have one, you always have to play with it. But I just don't want to dump it on the street. This thing is a beast. Take a look under there. For all the uh, people like me that don't own one. This thing's awesome. Is it run off your truck battery? Uh, no, you can plug that in. Right? You can plug that in. Right here. Run an oh. extension cord from your garage or whatever. But I think it does charge yeah. off of that too. This is my favorite part though. Like telling you not to lay under there and close it at the same time. <laughs> In case you didn't know. As you can see, the yard actually already looks a lot better just getting up all that brown thatch. Um, like it literally has kind of cleaned it up and it's a lot greener obviously because we pulled up all that brown dead thatch. Right now, Jeremy's just gonna finish up seeding. He went over this yard, aerated it. Um, so I wanna go over the numbers just a little bit again for you guys. So yes there's a ton of money and equipment here all right guys i wanted to find the price for the dethatcher it's 500 dollars, and that comes with the hitch i believe um so that mounts to the front of the mower then like i said you can pull the dethatcher off you can get different attachments leaf plows and such so check them out they're super cool people but you also then have to aerate this lawn because it's kind of like you can't do 
half of the job. You can't just take up the thatch and then throw grass seed on top of the yard. You've got to do the aeration. So most people I would say in this neighborhood, like let's take the neighbor's lawn here. It is pretty green. It just needs to be mowed, aerated, and seeded. This yard just had a lot of brown areas and a lot of bare spots that just had a bunch of old dead grass matted down in there. So the D thatcher kind of just brings that up to the surface. You bag it, then you aerate and seed. So there is some good money in this. Like I said, this could be anywhere from 450 to 550, 600 bucks if you, you know, had a couple other steps. There's some areas up there that Jeremy's got to go over a few times because it's just really bare and there's just a lot of thatch there. But other than that, once you have the equipment and things like Jeremy owns all of this equipment. So once you have the equipment, now for years to come, you'll be able to handle this stuff and it'll be 450 and all you have to buy is the seed. And so what are you making? Um, you know, 360 bucks or whatever it is on this property. If we weren't here filming, messing around, chatting, you could probably be in and out of here realistically in an hour and a half. Would you say? I would say so, yeah. Um, but I mean, this is also, you have a stand on aerator, so you have to think about that. Now, if you were renting the equipment for jobs like this, is where it would get a little bit more complicated because you have the detacher, the aerator, um, a bagging system, and you would have to have a ton of yards set up, grouped up in a day for a full lawn and renovation like this to make sense. That's why I would say buy the dethatcher. That way, I don't even know, can you rent those? I don't think you can rent one that attaches onto a mower. I think they're like smaller handheld units at Home Depot and such. Sorry, my light, I'm drowning out on this light. But um, if you wanna do full lawn renovations like this, I would suggest getting a dethatcher. That way you have it, it's on your machine. And then it, it, the only machine you have to rent would be an aerator, so. All right guys, I'm here editing the video. I wanted to bust on here real quick and kind of interrupt something I wish I would have talked about a little bit more is how do I come up with these numbers? Because, you know, people always just throw out these random numbers and it's so frustrating because, you know, you're like, in my area, what can I charge? Well, this piece of equipment, it doesn't cost this much. This piece of equipment doesn't cost this much. Listen, I understand that. So here's the thing, do a little bit of market research. So what do I mean? befriend guys in the business that do this kind of work. Over the years, I've just friended a ton of people that have done a million and a half, you know, aerations, overseeding, dethatching, and things like that. So I kind of know what the, the pricing around my area is. So that's one side of the coin. The other side of the coin is the real numbers that you need to know to, for it to make sense, for your business to even make money while you're out there. The two key factors of that is how long is the job gonna take? Estimated, I mean, we can't be perfect, but you know if it's gonna take an hour or if it's gonna take three or four hours. So that's something you have to estimate, especially when you get into like verticutting um, and different services like that. So a little bit of experience will come in handy, but like with our LMN software, we can go in there and price out what the job will be. Nancy's property, okay? Now, we're gonna need an aerator. We're gonna need a dethatcher. We're gonna need uh, the SCAG with a leaf bagging system. And your the element software you've already put in there, how much did that SCAG more cost? How much did the bagging system cost? How long is your company gonna be able to use it? And the system puts in there with your profit margin and literally tells you exactly how much you should charge. So listen, the numbers should come out fairly close, but at least, listen, if, it's, if the software says it's gonna cost the customer $447, okay? Well, now you know that if, if the, the somebody said, if one person said, oh, that, that would cost $400, or one person said that'll cost $550, at least you know you're in the middle range, which is, typically where contractors get hired is when they're the middle priced person typically you know it, it, that a million other things factor into why people get jobs but listen at least you know that hey i'm gonna make money on here so if you got if you've ever been frustrated with people just throwing out numbers that's why i wanted to come on here and tell you that's the the details of how i come up with these numbers 
we're just spitballing here, of course, on the video to give you guys a roundabout answer of what this will be. Every property is different. Every company is different. Listen, your overhead's different than my overhead. Um, these are just like real life numbers that if you want me to go down the rabbit hole into the, the just dirty details about this stuff, because I find it interesting. Like if you would have asked me about what my overhead recovery system was, <laughs> you know, uh, 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 two years ago, I'd have been like, what on earth are you talking about? It's, it's fancy words for, are you making money? And are you going to be able to reinvest in the equipment? Because every day that you go out and work, you are, um, you're taking life away from your equipment. And so basically what element, why I am so freaking fascinated with element is every time you quote a job, not only is your profit margin getting quoted into there. So you're making, you know, a profit on every little thing that you make. But it's also adding in, hey, it costs five dollars and whatever cents, you know, per hour, um, just to recover the the life that you're taking away from a skag mower or whatever. So overhead recovery, I don't know. It's a whole thing. Well, we can talk about it if you guys want, so leave a comment down below. But let's get back to the video. Aeration, overseeding, dethatching, the whole deal. There's good money in it. Jeremy's doing well, aren't you? The uh, here, here's the here's the key, guys. The key is having the information to sell it to your customer. If you just say, "Hey, I can dethatch your yard," and you have no idea what a dethatch does, you're not going to be able to explain it properly. To like them. I wouldn't go. Like you can't go up to this yard, right? Just because you want to make the four hundred fifty dollars and be like, "Oh, you need a dethatch," because obviously they really don't. It's a pretty green, full lawn, right? And having the information, why you dethatch, why you aerate. It's super important to sell that to the customer, guys. You have to know what you're doing. You just can't run machines out here. You gotta know what you're doing. Yeah, and also, if you would have came in and just aerated and seeded this lawn, like you said, you would have probably still had those bare spots because the seed wouldn't have made its way through the right. thatch. So, I think you made a good decision on this yard, Jeremy. Yeah, I mean, we wanna get this one for next year. So, I mean, it was it was in our best interest to treat it and do, and do all this stuff to it, um, regardless of what time it took. If we can secure this yard for next year, we're gonna make money both ways. That's a very smart business decision. All right, I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If I don't know the answer, I'll talk to Jeremy about it. But um, yeah, this is an awesome project. And he even said that we could come back next year and see what it looks like when it's all done. So Jeremy's gonna finish up here. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace.